Hello, this is Jeff Robertson, National Sales Manager with Penton Audio USA. This is a short tutorial video on how to set up your Terracom FXO module to conduct DTMF zone and all call pages. This is actually a very easy thing to set up. With the FXO module, all you need is really two steps. You're going to define your device or your zones and give them a name. And after you've defined all your zones and or your group of zones, then you go and actually define and assign your DTMF codes to the zones that you previously defined. So let's get started. Uh, I've got my IP address of 192.168.100.106 for my FXO module, and I've already entered that into my web browser. Please use Mozilla Firefox or Chrome, not Windows Internet Explorer. So we will log in, admin, admin, all lowercase, as is the default login for all Terracom devices that you receive from Penton Audio. And this is your login screen, and you can see right here that I've got TerraFXO, my firmware version, and everything like that. Also on the FXO module, you'll see up here, you got line one and line two. If you are physically connected to a phone line or a device, then it will show ready. If there is nothing connected to the RJ11 port, it will say disconnected. That's a good little troubleshooting tool. All right, so the first thing we need to do is let's set up all our devices. And so I'm going to set up one and to the device tab within the set up one tab. As with all Terracom devices, when you log in and go online, every other Terracom device and DSP processor made by Penton Audio and Atis that is on the network will show up in this list, and they're grayed out. That just means I haven't mapped anything to them, and you can see right here they're showing them all online. Okay, so let's create some devices. I am going to start right here with the Terra Amp. Uh, I've got a speaker hooked up to output number one on that amp, so let's just say add, and we're going to add a zone for the Terra Amp. There's the default name, and I'm going to give this my custom name that means something to me and my job, and I'll just say zone one. It could be first floor, basement, east garage, whatever you want to call it. There are two outputs on a Terra Amp module, and I've got my speaker hooked up to output one. We'll just save that. Now, as I create device groupings they show up here highlighted with the device the name I gave it and if I want to add another zone for that same device then I can just hit new right up here so I'll click new and maybe I want to say this is zone 2 now I just change this to 2 and we will save there we go I've got a door station here our Terra DS1 I will add a device for that door station there we go and there's only one zone because there's only one speaker output on the door station so I will hit save there and also I've got my Terra manager software running in the background so just for fun let's go to our Terra manager device and let's add a zone for that control GUI if I can spell there's only one zone out for that that's the TK microphone now, what if I want to actually page the Terra Amp and the Terra DS station, and if I had a bunch of other devices or processors out here, and I wanted to do an all call? Well, that's easily done as well. A device means all the zones or groups of zones within a singular device. The function libraries, and you see the first option that comes up, there's a lot of other things we could do here, is device group. This is the way you could set up a single code or button to go to a group of zones throughout a bunch of different devices. So I will say we're going to add a device group and all of the devices that we previously created will be right here on the left. Now what I want to do is I want to say okay my Terra Amp Zone 1 I want to bring over my Terra Amp Zone 2 will bring over and my DS Door Station bring over as well. I won't worry about the Terra Manager and we will give this a name and we will say how about all page? That, that'll work. All right, and we will save that. All right, so that's our first step. We just created groups of zones and zones that are attached to devices and gave them custom names. That's all we've done. So now let's go to step number two, where we actually define DTMF dial codes and assign them to these zones or groups of zones that we've already previously defined. We'll go to line one. I have nothing connected to line two, as it's telling me up here, but I am connected to line one. 
the first thing we want to do is here is your pre-announced tone now this is not a pre-chime and post-chime that you're familiar with with our processors and other p streaming control devices this is actually what the user hears when they access the fxo in the handset Think of it as a confirmation tone or whatever. Now we have a tone that should be already saved in your FXO. If it isn't, please contact Anthony or myself and we can get this set to you, but it should already be loaded in there. And that is the double beep. And basically that's a confirmation did it that the user hears that when they dial, if you don't want one, just leave it blank. If you want custom ones, you can put custom ones in there. It's just a WAV file. All right, so I added that. There we go. Now let's start adding our DTMF code. So I'm going to go right here to where it says DTMF new. And up here you see DTMF number, and this is the field that you enter your DTMF code. Notice that it's preceded with a pound or number sign, and at the end there's an asterisk. This is very important. When you dial a DTMF code to make a page or to call an intercom type station, you have to hit pound, then the number, and then start. The reason for this is the FXO module can use DTMF tones to do a variety of functions, including dialing out to the outside world to standard phones or dialing extensions within your PBX phone system key switch. So when you actually hit the pound sign or the number sign, that tells the FXO, oh, we are going to dial another Terracon device or make a SIP page across the Terranet. Then it's looking for your digits, and then when you're done dialing your digits, the asterisk key tells it, I'm done dialing, process the digits I've dialed, and do whatever you're programmed to do. Now, because of this, this means we can have single-digit dialing, double-digit dialing, triple digits, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten digits for zone or codes that you want to put in there, and they could be any combinations. So I can have some one digits, some two digits, some six digits, or whatever, because the pound tells it I'm going to dial, and the asterisk says I'm done dialing, processed whatever I've dialed. So it's very functional and flexible for you to set up custom dial codes to do a variety of things. And these include paging. So if you want to do one-way paging, like we're getting ready to set up now, or if you have two-way intercom devices out there, such as the Terra DS door stations, other TK microphones, PPM IT5 microphones, anything that has a microphone and a speaker, you can actually do two-way calls. That being said, some of the newer features of our Terra amps, our Terra F FDX modules, the Terra IEX modules, actually allow for you to have a microphone connected and a speaker and or amplifier and speaker connected to the output to where you can actually use a separate mic and speaker connected to the single device and actually do two-way full duplex audio communication. So that, that's fairly new and it's a powerful feature to use in your designs and specs. So let's get started. So I'm going to my I'm going to do my Terra Amp module first, zone one, and let's just say this is 101. And that's going to be a page only. So when I change that, actually, I got to sell what it is again. So I'm going to my Terra Amp device, which I'd already programmed as zone one, and we're going to do paging, and the number code is 101. And we'll save that. There you go. You can see it right there on the list. Let's do another one. Let's say 102. And that is going to be a paging only, and that's going to my Zone 2 device, which is the Teraamp output number 2. Great, there they both are. And another one, we are going to say, for our door station, let's just say that is 200, and that is going to be paging as well. And there goes my door station that we set there, and we will save that. And also we said we had one for the Terra Manager. So let's set up a new one for that. And since that's going back to my main control, I'm going to say 911. And that is going to be Intercom. And I'll get a little more into that as well. We will put that to the control GUI. And set Save on there. And I will do an Intercom to the door station as well. And let's make that 411. And that will be an intercom, and that's going to my door station. There we go. So as you can see, I can put multiple codes in here, even calling the same device to do different things. And I'll explain more about the intercom and call. And we will do another one, and we will say 00, and that's going to be our all call. 
and that's going to be paging only. And I've already got my group, the grouped ones lined up first. There's my group all page that we created. That should go out to my speakers on my door station. So there we go. You have just programmed an FXO to do DTMF paging throughout all your Terracom and processor DSP zones out on your network. So if we did everything correctly, which I'm sure we have, let's go ahead and conduct a few quick tests, shall we? What I'm first going to do is dial 101. So I've got a little phone and an office line simulator, so when I go off hook, it actually brings the FXO. Remember, the FXO requires a ringing analog station and or CO line phone connection. It has to be a ringing. It cannot be loop start, ground start. It has to be a ringing station. It sees ringing voltage to answer. I will open up my mic here a little bit and hopefully you can hear the handset off hook. It's going to ring. FXO will answer. There's your confirmation. Pound one zero one and star. Check one, two, testing one, two, three, test one, two. Now I can go here to my AMP module. And as you can see on the AMP module, out one is paging. I will hang up. And you can see right there, the out one now is not active. And we are all set up, ready to go again. So that was the zone one page. And I can actually go to my audio matrix here. And we should be able to see there we go so now I'm going to dial the 200 pound two zero zero and star testing one two three testing one two three check one two now I'm going through my door station over here to the right and you can see it's paging to the door station this is just a status to let you know what's going on so I will hang up and there you go now I'm going to do an all call so let's do ringing there's a double beep, pound, zero, zero, star. And now we're paging all the zones that you can see on the Terra amp and on my speaker and the DS station at the same time. So that's an all call. So you can see it could be two or three digit dialing or five or six or whatever you want. Now, what does a call do differently? Here is my Terra manager and I've got a design that I'm actually working on right now for a potential customer. If I call the Terra Manager and it was set up for intercom, or if I call any IT5, which has a touch screen on there as well, or even the door station, it, it enunciates a SIP call. And what it's going to do is it's going to answer. And I've got this set up to auto answer, so I don't have to actually hit something to answer. So I'm going to dial. Now I'm going to do pound 911 star. And there you go. You can hear it ringing on my TK microphone. I set it up for auto answer. And you can hear me. That's coming through the speaker. So now when I'm done, I can either hang up from the phone or I can press hang up from the Terra manager. So I'll hang up on the phone just to show you that it automatically clears itself out. And there you go. So everything's fine. That is paging and setting up DTMF tones on your FXO module in a nutshell. It is very, very easy. It just takes you a couple of times to practice and get used to it. If you have any questions whatsoever, as always, please feel free to visit our website at www.penton-usa.com. Thank you very much, and have a terrific day.